This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Flight Facilities Claire de Lune, okay? we are teaching you how to play the left hand pattern that plays throughout the song and then the right hand is this really big jumpy pattern that's really nice as well probably the hardest to learn for the right hand all right so it starts with the left hand like this just keep repeating this two note pattern and the right hand comes in like this goes etc okay but anyways let's learn the left hand pattern first the easiest thing to learn okay so it's two double notes that repeat throughout the song it's D flat and A flat double notes. So middle C is here. Go down two octave C's. It's the D flat and A flat here. And then the next double note is F and C. So they're both fifths. And you just repeat these two double notes the whole way. Like that. Okay, so if you want to do it in like one like a good hand position, just use fifth and the second finger for the first one. And then third and first finger for the second double note. Like that. So you can just not move your left hand and really focus on the right hand difficult pattern to learn okay that we will learn right now okay so the right hand pattern goes like this it's a pretty big jump so it goes d flat right next to middle c so d flat up to a flat and then up to f and up to d flat then down more than an octave down to the f up to c up to a flat up to the f so quite big jumps okay can't really like do it in one hand position okay so you gotta really pivot onto the notes especially when it's faster it's easy to uh, make a mistake because it's very continuous the pattern it's not like it doesn't give you a break to do this and then like this it doesn't give you a break up this is continuous bump bump three four one two three four like that so it's always one two three four 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 you can see there was one uh the first run through it i did it like a half mistake there just slipping onto the note okay so do it slowly first like that and then start building up the speed all right so get it under your fingers and then you can combine it with the two hands together pretty simple the left hand double note plays with every first note out of the four notes so it goes one two three four and then one two three four like that All right, so yeah, that's the hard thing about it is to jumps on the right hand. Okay, so yeah, just really practice the left hand. Oh, not left hand, kind of mean. Okay, the right hand, <laughs> mixing up the hands. But yeah, the right hand is the main thing you have to practice. Really master the jumps for it, and then it will be a lot easier to play because the left hand is really easy. You can do it in one position. It's just to focus up the right hand, okay? So that's why important to do the fingering for the left hand. Like that, so you don't really have to focus the left hand at all because what you need to do is like autopilot the set um, the finger fifth and second finger and the third and first finger like the pilot whilst this hand focused the most. Yep, even that like missed the note like that. Yeah, the reason why is easy to hit the wrong note sometimes because like. It changes between white and black notes, especially like this small note, so it's easy to like slip and hit the wrong note. So really focus on the aiming of those black notes, like that. Okay, there you go. That's pretty much it. So the notes itself by itself is not hard to learn, but it's just the execution of those jobs that makes it difficult. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, by the way, <laughs> like this, this happened to share the same name as the other Claire de Lune song. That, uh, uh, it's by Debussy, so I've done a piano tutorial on that as well, so if you want to like learn that as well, Claire de Lune by Debussy, go ahead and like check that out as well. Just search up Debussy, Claire de Lune, Amos Doll, and you will learn the other lesson. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. 
also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.